today we're going to show you how to change the membrane in your Stealth 150. Now there's two signs to look for when knowing whether or not it's time for a membrane change. If you don't change your carbon filter on time, and you're on city water that's chlorinated, eventually chlorine can pass through this carbon filter and get into the membrane. And the chlorine will actually eat away at the flat sheet that makes up the membrane, causing your PPMs to go up. So you really want to stay on top of changing this carbon filter. It's every 1,250 gallons of product water made, or every six months, whichever comes first. Now if you have the upgraded KDF85 carbon filter, that's every 2,000 gallons of product water made, or every six months, whichever comes first. The other way to know it's time for a membrane change is eventually, and this is for city water users, well water users, pretty much anybody, over time the membrane will start to clog up with all of the total dissolved solids that's removing from the water and your flow rate just starts to slow down. Now this may happen after a couple months, it may take a couple years. It's completely dependent on the quality of your source water and how much water you're making. There's three things you'll need when time for a membrane change. A pair of pliers, the double-ended wrench that came with your system, and of course your replacement membrane. First thing you want to do is turn off your source water, then you want to release the tubing from this 90 degree elbow on the cap of your membrane vessel. Now all of the connections on our system are secured by what's called a quick connect fitting. So when you push the tubing into the fitting, there's a small mechanism called a collet that actually grabs onto the tubing. So you want to get your fingers around that collet, push down against the face of the fitting, and then at the same time pull back on the tubing and it just slides right out. I like to pop the membrane vessel out of this first clip right here. It gives you a little more room to work with. So you want to take the small end of your double-ended wrench and turn this cap counterclockwise. and you'll notice the stem of the membrane is popping out there. So take your pliers, grab that stem, slide the old membrane out, and put the new membrane in. Now all membranes have a food grade preservative inside of them, it keeps them fresh. It takes about 30 minutes to flush it out. So once you get the water going back through your system again, drain that first 30 minutes of RO water, and then you're ready to go.